Good morning, Saints. Um, I am your host, Dana Neal, Mrs. CEO, and I'm encouraging you on this morning to um, consider our title today. The five minute message is about excellence. Um, next five minute messages that we'll be doing, we're going to start off with prayer only because it's on my heart to do so. But um, because the five minute messages are so short, I eliminate the prayer only because um, of the timing. But starting tomorrow, we will do the prayer. We will do the prayer. Um, this morning's uh, message is about excellence. And I am coming from Proverbs 8 on today. Today is the 8th of April. I would encourage you to read that. It's very good. All of the word is very good. This is, But this is good for you for today, especially for wisdom and direction. I am looking at verse number 6. Listen, for I will speak of excellent things. And from the opening of my lips will come right things. What I want to share with you today as far as excellence and using that verse. Listen, for I will speak of excellent things. The Bible tells us to um, think on things that are good, pure, wonderful, um, exciting, things that are, are positive, not negative. And when I think about things of excellence, you know, I, I think about um, last year my um, at my church, we we're talking about being a five star church and, you know, just being high above the rest and um, helping people in that, you know, basically being if you're at a five star church. Um, hotel, you know that they're way up here, okay? They, uh, the concierge, they, they help you. They come get your bags. They open the door for you. It's not like a Super 8. But I'm wondering if these people at this five-star hotel, follow me here, if they weren't so concerned about paying, getting paid, they get paid to do everything that they do. Get the bags, open the door, take the bags to the room, say thank you, say hello, say good morning. If their high rate of pay was not where it is, would they be doing what they're doing? Would it be so five star? What is the return for you um, in that? You know, what is, think about it for yourself. You know, are you look, you, I always call myself, I always try to be five star. Am I getting anything in return? No, not anything, but that doesn't matter to me. My concern for excellence and, and how people perceive me is where the Lord is with me, where he is not. And if I'm missing something, I need to pull it out of scripture. Amen. So when I look at excellence on today, I am concerned about where I'm going. I, excellence. <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to lower my standards or keep um, accepting things and um, just allowing to be in bondage. So when I consider excellence this morning, I'm considering who you are. You don't want to sell it for less. And in your five-star mentality, your five-star hotel or um, concierge or travel services or however you want to perceive this, you have to want to know who you are. You know, I think that's been the gist or the foundation of our five-minute messages. Who are you? Are you um, basing your life on the Word of God? And if you're not basing your life on the Word of God, then what is it? In chapter 8, <clears throat> excuse me, in chapter 8, um, it talks about how hating evil is loving the Lord. Um, pride and arrogance, loving the Lord. So we have to understand where we should not be. When you hate evil, you don't settle for excuses from people either, which means, and again, I'm going to touch on some things right here where people are really going to get upset. But you should not be accepting someone who um, basically says, I'm a saint, but I'm going out to drink today. Oh, one beer is not going to bother me. Oh, I can smoke cigarettes. It's okay. You know, I don't have cancer right now. You know, you bring things, one thing leads to another. So the spirit of going out to the clubs leads to 
different types of temptation. I don't want to put one on someone because it leads to different types of temptation. It could be fornication. It could be drugs. It could be um, lewdness. It could be, you know, adultery if you're married. And it could be, it could be anything because you have to consider what the word says. In Matthew, if your eyes, if your eyes look at another woman or man in that way, You've already committed adultery. You don't even have to touch her or him. And you know what? They don't even have to know you looked at them. Spirit of excellence. It's 100%. And it's everything. So I encourage you on today to consider where you are in your excellence. Read over Proverbs 8 for today. Study it. Study that verse. You know, look at it in the different versions. I was reading out of the New King James, and um, I, I like that because it's my study Bible, and it breaks things down um, differently than the King James Version. But I encourage you because excellence means more than one thing. And in excellence, it means to, ex there's the word excel. So if you're excelling in the wisdom that you're obtaining from the Word of God, you're getting closer to that five-star character. Have a blessed day.